All right, so for today, I'm gonna try some structure fishing underneath the uh, old Surf City Swing Bridge. We're gonna see how it's, uh, I'm gonna try for some sheep's head. I was not able to get any fiddler crabs today, which kind of sucks, but uh, I'm gonna try with some dead shrimp that I got here. I'll have to figure out which way the current's going and orient myself against that. Let's go ahead and get my rod ready. I'm using a uh, size one. I'll have to put up the model in the description here of which ones I'm using. There we go. <laughs> Toadfish. Well, at least it's something, right? <laughs> Damn little toad. <laughs> Look at you, you ugly son of a bitch. Yeah. 
I'm hoping to catch some sheep's head or black drum out here, but I didn't have any luck getting fiddler crabs, so I had to go get shrimp. <laughs> get up on the bridge from this side so uh i may just drop down straight underneath of the bridge up here seems like a pretty nice place to do it i think next i might go over to the oyster beds over there but i really don't want to get too much into the flats today i'm more of looking to fish the structure here hit it. Oh, let's not do that. Right. Something's down there. I'm thinking this side's gonna be pretty good. This is nothing special. Just a Carolina rig, standard little hook. Yeah, sorry about the noise here. And there's stuff down there, that's for sure. I am a little bit worried about getting into some pylons back here. It seems like it'd be fairly easy to hook into those right now. <laughs> All day. <laughs> That's a big toad fish, at least. As you can see, I've got my drag super tight right now. Because if I hook into a sheep's head, I don't want to give it any room to move. I'm going to be fishing the downward side here. That's the way it seems right now that all the fish are hiding behind these pylons because the current's so strong here. One thing I will say as far as comfort goes on this compass is that uh, my legs being in the up position all this time 
making my feet fall asleep. It's not a huge deal though. I can I can kind of manage around it. But uh, I may need to roll over into the flats and get off or uh, do a little bit of standing here in a little bit. Really wondering where the sheep are at, man. I would have expected to see some out here. Maybe we should have gone down to the south end. And paddle over to some flats that I know of. Maybe try to find some fiddler crabs. Although I don't have anything to put them in right now. I left my bait bucket in my car. That might not have been a good decision. I did just realize something. A good location for my lunch. See, so I'm still kind of uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure my way around this kayak because I, I just bought it. This is actually the first official fishing trip of it. But uh, I decided earlier put my lunch behind me. But one of the things that I forgot was that I had a perfectly good place in front of me. Look at that. There we go. Lunchbox. <sighs> That'll make a few things easier. <laughs> you might be bait. But Publix is where I got them. Two bucks. Save yourself the trouble. They're not salt water resistant, but if they rust, they were two bucks. And usually they won't rust for a couple of trips. So seriously, if you don't need anything crazy expensive to cut your bait, I would highly suggest not getting a pocket knife. chance to set the hook properly because it caught it on the uh, on the pull up basically nope 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 I guess this will do for now So I like the fact that with this Hobie, I can sit here right by this structure in a fairly strong current and just stay in one spot. Damn. I'm feeling some really solid hits. I'm starting to wonder if they are actually sheep's head. Waves. 
push me away. I will say this is one of the most comfortable boats I've ever been in. Um, that's a problem that I have with the Shimano Compre. Getting the eyelets tangled up in the line constantly, constantly, it will drive you insane. There we go. Another pen, right in the belly. Foul hooked him. You guys are what are messing with my damn bait down there. I know that much. Let me get away from this structure. Yep. Set a black drum. Come on. Damn. Sheep's head or black drum. Damn. That was a good hit, too. What's that? Pinfish and toad and toadfish, man, all day. <laughs> I figure with the uh, with the pins, I'm gonna cut the pins up and use them as bait when I run out of shrimp. So, yeah, <laughs> little guys. <laughs> Is it an alligator? Three of them, really? The big ones? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was up in a creek with a 10-footer the other day, man. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep an eye out, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. This is something I was afraid of happening. You can see how stable this thing is. That's gonna suck. Whew. Did not want to get hit by those. So we're coming up for round two now at this bridge. I had to run in and uh, take care of a few things. But uh, the tide has kind of slowed down a little bit. It's pretty much hit its peak at this point. So I'm interested in seeing if anything's changed down there. I know the undercurrent should have shifted a lot by now. You can still kind of see that the bridge is, is creating a current. We're gonna see when we pass this pylon right here what it looks like. So I'm typically, I'm gonna wanna throw on the rear end of those. That's where the fish are gonna be hiding from the current. I'm thinking these big fiberglass ones are gonna be my best bet right now. So let me get, already got a little bit of shrimp on here from earlier. I still got those pinfish that I uh, pulled in. 
I'm going to get myself lined up behind these pillars. Yeah, I had to run in and get a backup battery and a cable so I could record because honestly the fishing today's not bad. Yeah, I'm not catching any big boys, but catching is catching for me. My goal today, target species, sheep's head and black drum. So far it's been toadfish and penfish. But the toadfish have been hitting really aggressive and they've actually been really fun to catch. So I've been getting some pretty big ones. If toadfish were worth eating, I'd have had some food today. <laughs> oh shoot. I'm gonna end up getting all turned around here. That was probably a strip right there. This has been uh, my day today, strip bait, and uh, sorry about the noise, you're probably not going to be able to hear a damn thing on here, but uh, we've got construction going on in that direction, bridge traffic up above, it's not an ideal location for this, um, for filming. But it's pretty good for fishing. So uh, I'll take what I got. Okay. I guess the current is still rolling pretty good. taken downstream pretty damn quick that time. Let's get up behind these pylons again. Let's get level. Yeah, this is not a place you go for peaceful fishing, that's for sure. bit of standing fishing. Not a good place to uh, put down the anchor pole. There we go. Surprisingly, it is pretty uh, sandy down here. Hmm. 
That's annoying. Actually works pretty darn well. Go ahead and stand up. Oh my gosh, that is much, much more stable than my thresher was. Okay. So a few spots here so I'm definitely loving the amount of room that I have and the overall standability of this kayak I feel like I would have a hard time tipping it almost like I would have to try if I wanted to tip this thing over which is not something that I feel like doing. All right, I'm gonna throw out some shrimp, some dead shrimp. And, uh, you know, just kind of relax for a little bit. Eat some lunch. This is definitely a uh, relaxing kayak to be on. Okay. So I cut up this little penfish a little bit. few pieces I'm really really hoping to see some black drum on this stuff you know we'll just have to just have to wait and see how it goes I know this here is a pretty decent channel find out if there's any fiddler crabs out here see a couple down there in the mud it's kind of a good sign I'm not wanting to get over into that are too small. You'll do.
There really are thousands of them out here. Almost got away. Get these guys in the bucket. I'm gonna need about 30 or so of them in order to make this any damn use. some big ones in here. This is like some kind of a madman hunt. I do once you get them you just keep them in that bucket give them some dirt a little bit of water turn the bucket on its side so that way they've got We're going to try and keep these alive. I might take them back out to the bridge again tomorrow. Or I may go down to the south end and try fishing by the docks. Haven't decided just yet what I plan to do. Nope, dropped you. Get over here. Yeah, there's some big ones, but they all got away from me earlier. There we go. There's still some out here, but they're small ones. Oh, look at him. Dang. Dang. <laughs> that was a big one.